Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Get On With It, Sid Meier's Colonization, featuring me, Grimoth. Last time, um, I was asking questions about what I should do, like perhaps deal with the English in the future. You guys were insulting me and calling me a dumbass. And I also learned that I can move, uh, units over lost city rumors without actually investigating them. Glad somebody fucking told me that. And yeah, just reorganizing things and building some roads. Now that I've come back to the game, uh, one of the things I was thinking about first is that, uh, if I'm actually gonna do any pew-pew with England, perhaps I should rearrange my units here. Like, say, for instance, I should clear the orders of this artillery, and also clear the orders of this artillery down here. Why? Well, that way, you know, I can move an artillery unit from, uh, up there, Montreal to SKS, and move one of these artillery units from Quebec up to Montreal. This will give, you know, each settlement a little bit of defense, and it's quite possible that maybe, just maybe, uh, presumably, possibly, I don't know, kind of, uh, the, our good friends up there, the English, may continue to get aggroed at me, for reasons I cannot possibly explain, and yeah, I might have to do something about that. Well, that's in the future, folks, that's definitely in the future. By the future, I mean now. I think I have enough ore for now, since I'm not building any tools. So let's go ahead and finish this lumber mill as quickly as we can. I want to build a stockade, since we have four people there. Um, what do we have here on this caravel? Alrighty, we will ship these goods off to ye old uh, La Rochelle. It'll be done and done, children. Done and done. Uh, do you have your movement left? Okay, so I'm going to drag you in there now. So I can get a turn out of you now. Because I can immediately put you to work doing something. I know you're a fisherman, jackass. I want you to fish. Success! Six more food. That gives me an excess of five food, which is far more than necessary. Um, you there can... I don't know. Go north. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. That's a good spot for you to sit. And you will slowly head on over towards the areas of the map we have not yet explored. We will achieve profit or sustenance or something like that. Let's go take another peek see at Roanoke. Alrighty, now move down here to go visit friends we really haven't visited before. <laughs> head that artillery unit over there. Yeah, it's stuck near the, the camp. Oh well, they can get alarmed if they want. By the way, I'm not responsible for giving the Indians horses. That's all the English's fault. Not me. I swear. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Drop that stuff off here. And uh, tell you what, we're going to go on a field trip to Quebec. Sounds like a plan, children. Good plan. A cunning plan. A plan cunning for me. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Listen, it sounded clever at the time, okay? <laughs> I think this is a good idea, even though it'll temporarily up... Temporarily up... Opportunity! Alright, printing press. She does not appear to actually have achieved anything since we're not really producing any Liberty Bells here. Let's go ahead and build... Weaver shot fort. You're gonna have to, you're gonna need a lot of tools for that, children. <laughs> well, once the cotton runs out, I'll have something to do with these jackasses. As a matter of fact, you can go work on that now. Make excuse me, the phone's ringing, and it's nobody important. So let's pretend that didn't happen and continue on with the let's get on with it experience. Okay, everybody. Okay. You continue to saunter over this way. Saunter some more at my leisure. You, I will activate you. And I will activate you. You get your ass in there. And fortify. You get your ass in there and we'll pretend that you're doing something important. Drag stuff uh, from here, please. Like what? I'm not sure. Okay. Take a hundred muskets so I can put these guys back to work making tools. Okay. 
That that is right, right. I don't have like some sort of master blacksmith here, right? Expert silver miner. I guess I could do away with you. I'm probably not going to be able to, even if I do mine silver, from my understanding, the price is not going to go back up. So it'd be kind of fruitless, pointless. And I can make you into something more valuable, perhaps a soldier. Master carpenter is there, that's good. Gunsmith, yeah, don't need guns right now from you, indentured servant. Expert ore miner, you are doing your job. Goody, goody fucking gumdrops. Tell you what, go ahead and take another cart of ore, just rather, a cart of ore. Up here. Can't say you really need it, chief. Tell you what, you're just going to hold on to the cart of ore anyway for Huggles and Rainbow Kittens. That's my justification for all of it. You just hold on to it. Okay? We'll pretend it's needed. Maybe it will be in the future. Uh, you just sit there and watch over that. And you head on down here and, um... See what wonderful sights there are to see. Like a Dutch Dragoon. I believe it's Dutch. If I remember my fucking color code correctly. Oh, it's a Dutch Merchantman. Could attack him, but he... Ooh! Um... That was interesting. I didn't get engaged by the English, but I did get engaged by my rather English-colored king. 2%. War with the Holy Roman Empire, or else throw away a bunch of tools. I'll kiss the piggy ring. Tax rate doesn't bug me that much. Um, sell this for a small sum of profit. Coats and uh, cloth are still valuable here. Silver, not so much. Um, recruit. Master Blacksmith would be useful, but I'm not paying all that gold. And I'm not going to spend my money on fucking trade goods. I don't have enough money to fucking trade with the Indians like that. So, let's just uh, continue to walk along here. And see what's hanging. I could attack you, but you don't have any cargo on you. So, I'll tell you what. I'll just wait here by Veracruz, and maybe you'll make my life interesting. You might not, but I can dream, and... How thoughtful. The English decided not to have a chat with me. Okay. They'd probably yell at me and ask me to pay more tribute or something silly like that. Like I care about them. <laughs> Alright, continue to build that fort. That's good. We are not producing as much as we should here. Alright, they have the master tobacco there. I... Something appears to be wrong there, but... It's not important. It's immaterial, kids. We're building a fort. Out of rock and roll and potatoes. <laughs> it's true. And I'm attacking you. Come on, big money. Yeah! 100 horses and damage the merchantmen. I'd love to sink it, but eh, you take what you get. Hmm, then you can take some more, but for the moment you take what you get. Alright, I see you down there. Sailing around. Ooh. Price of cloth has fallen. Tool price has risen. Price of muskets has risen. God damn. Yay! Dentured servant became a free colonist. You're learning, buddy. Congratulations. You're doing it. I'm actually going to clear the specialty of this uh, silver miner right here. E see. No. No, I'm not going to clear it yet. No. I Let's not get too hasty. Maybe, maybe that silver miner will save me somehow later on in the game. Totally. I. <clears throat> why do I highly doubt that? Why, why do I think I'm just being stubborn and hanging on to him because I'm fucking stupid? Tell you what, I'll ignore you for right now because you don't have any cargo I can see on you. You may have passengers, but I don't much care. I'm just going to continue to sit inside this sitting. And uh, you have horses, which I think I'll end up selling. But for the time being, I'll move them here to Montreal. Stash them there. Spanish missionaries denounce heresy of Dutch. Oh dear. Loyal Iroquois worshippers burn the Spanish at the stake. Why do I get 
get the feeling that I was saved from English diplomacy reaction. That's like bugging me. Like, I heard their music right there, and then nothing happened. Are they just thinking about it? The RNG play effect? This game confuses me, children. <laughs> if you guys haven't fucking understood that by now, yeah, this game confuses me. You are burning through lumber. You are going to burn through lumber like a bat out of hell. So I'm going to have the, the wagon bring you some lumber so I can keep producing at a quick speed. Because I want that stockade up to help support that artillery unit. Maybe he saw the cannon and changed his mind. Maybe it was a good idea to move the cannon there. Why didn't anybody tell me that I should have moved it there, though? If it was a good idea, what the fuck? Aren't you guys supposed to be helping me? <laughs> You're doing a terrible job. What kind of advice? What kind of counsel is this? What? Wow. Holy shit. Damn! What the fuck do the Spanish have left? <laughs> That's my question to society. You can't help me at all. You're out of lumber. That is, uh, how do I call it? Right. I would say that goes so far as to being unfortuitous. Alright, you guys will actually even out on lumber production. That's cool. And with enough excess food, you will eventually produce good stuff. That's good. Get those horses out of there. Losing food a bit there, but... I can handle it until my ship comes back. Afterwards, we're going to... Not sure. Um... Uh... Dick. <laughs> we're going to dick. Yes, you know how that goes. Well, we can still bring that cart of ore over there. How are you guys doing? How you doing? Right. Um, you're actually losing a bit of lumber because you're producing too much. Your power level is amazing. It's massive. <laughs> what does the scout him? Shut up. Okay, um... Do, 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 do. <laughs> Get lost in the fucking music here. What are you producing? A college. That's gonna be done pretty soon. Tell you what. You go actually chop down more trees. Get me a lumber surplus here, folks. So this wagon will be totally justified in taking some lumber from there and delivering it to SKS so it can continue to produce. Because I'd hate for him to be all stranded and alone up there. You go back and huggle Jamestown, and maybe I'll get something good out of it. At the very least, you'll block the English from getting around super easy. They can't take their little fucking shortcut. Okay, you slip past me and you're on your way out of the dough. You didn't look like you had any cargo on you, but you may have been carrying something valuable anyway. Maybe you're going to get cargo. Alright. Hey! That looks like opportunity, folks. I, I see that opportunity right there, and I'm going to try and carp a diem. Alrighty, uh, 12 versus... 4 and some change? Uh, you know. Hmm. I think we're going with 100 horses there. And, uh, what the hell? We'll take the ore. It damaged it. Didn't sink it. Damn. Take this colonist here to the coffee shop. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, shit. Stick his ass here. He needs an education. We'll put him here, and he'll learn how to be an expert fisherman. Until I get some Indians, I'm going to make my dudes fishers so I can continue to support a higher colony for whatever nefarious purposes I deem reasonable. I don't know. If you guys haven't gotten the point that I'm making this shit up as I go along, what the fuck? Tell you what, um... He'll use all his movement getting there. I can walk the colonists down there, but there's cargo in there that I want the caravel to have. So I'll do that. Step here... Apparently I couldn't... <sighs> Is there like a fucking setting that I can do to... That... That... That upsets me. Because what if I had gotten something from that? That would have upset me, folks. I... Uh, you lied to me. I feel cheated and deceived, and I am angry now. And you... You were trying to do something that I didn't want you to do. 
So I guess I I accidentally broke my little um, explore agreement thing, and it's good that I found nothing but rumors. So operating on information. Who was it, Master Azra, who gave that to me? This is all your fault. I this was probably actually a bad decision. Oh, we actually succeeded and damaged the Dutch Galleon. We didn't quite win, which I would have wanted, but oh well. It's not my fault, though, children. I I, op I was operating on erroneous data. Truly, I I would have would not have done it had I known that uh, I would have auto explored it. I thought I had the opportunity to refuse it. Maybe it'll allow you, allow you the opportunity to refuse it if you actually find something. But if it's nothing but rumors, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Shit. Uh, right. I wanted you to walk your pretty head away from here, didn't I? Didn't want you sitting around. Um, here, wanted you going to learning how to be something. You need to grab that, and you need to grab a hundred of those. I'll produce more food there. Fantastic. And... Ah, screw it. You go do that. That'll be fine. Six Liberty Bells. Produce some Liberty. Get that ship looking better, please. Screw moving, the colonist. I'll go move them whenever somebody arrives from up there, or some shit like that. Probably not. I'm making this up as I go, folks. Dum -dum -dum -dum. More dragoons moving around. They're angry as fuck. Ooh, Quebec produced a college. Fantastic, everybody. You can teach two specialists at a time, and you will allow me to teach a bunch of stuff at the schoolhouse in addition that. So I could teach Master Weaver, or Blacksmith, or... I think I could teach Lumberjack, too, but I'm not sure. University, what does that allow me to do? Jesuit missionary, firebrand pre preacher, and elder statesman. Uh, I don't see much value in having a lots of preachers produce, produce crosses. I mean, I know what it can do, but I guess I'll just have to play the game more to see if that's truly valuable. In Jesuit Missionary, perhaps in the harder difficulty levels, that's more valuable. But here, the Indians are pretty docile. It's not like I'm raffle stomping over them. So it's not a big deal. Um, I'll produce another warehouse expansion. I like that. It sounds good. We have enough tools to do that and everything. We'll be producing a surplus of lumber. Eventually you will learn how to fish, young Padawan. <laughs> Eventually. But not now. Maybe I'll start training veteran soldiers. I might need those if I plan on uh, thumping uh, England up there. I'm not going to give up that dream just yet, children. Not going to give it up. Well... Sorry I walked over that Lost City rumor, everybody. However, it did allow me to meet the Incans. You got to see a pretty portrait because of it. With llamas. And... I... Don't know what that is. <laughs> um... Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I'll accept your treaty. My asthmatic asshole here will, uh... Hopefully succeed and fucking do it right. Can I throw shit overboard? There's gotta be a way. Orders. Aha! Dump cargo overboard. It's what, eight furs? Eh, I know. What if I need that? What if that money I get from selling that is like the difference in everything, the whole cosmos of the universe? Screw it. It's just energy that the Dutch lost, not me. Fifteen furs? There we go. Just continue about your business, man. Hopefully we'll find more delicious, juicy plunder to make it worthwhile. That galleon shouldn't have been sauntering around with such, you know, pissy-ass things anyway. Uh, stash this lumber in SKS. Oh, dick. <laughs> Shit. I guess that's the next thing I need to do then, huh? To, um... Right. Hold shift. Click. 
36. That'll be fine. Next thing I should do there is produce a coffee shop. No. <laughs> produce a train of thought. Warehouse. Yes. Good job, Grimoth. You did it. Also, these horses are eating up my food. <laughs> I don't think I should have proliferated them around. <laughs> I think that was a bad idea. I want to grow colonists, damn it. Oh well, I'll suck it up. Be more of a man about it. And I saw that ninja over there. The galleon doing whatever. He's trying to distract me. I gotta hang around these colonies and screw whatever potential he has waiting over there. Nah. Let's go exploring. I have a crazy privateer. Let's go see where that galleon may lead us. Perhaps to riches. A galleon had stuff on him, didn't he? A galleon has stuff on him. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, sometimes you make mistakes, folks. Sometimes you make mistakes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. I can't actually end the recording now. That's, that's all sorts of drama right there, children. Alrighty, I got a fisherman here. Fantastic. So, you get on out the dough, then. Become a colonist. You. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> you. Go back to work there. All is well in the kingdom. Yes. I agree with all this. You're producing. Produce. Fresh veggies. And, uh, you are continuing to not be worthwhile down there. Much to my eternal shame and displeasure. So go back on up there where I know there are Dutch colonies. Please. You continue to hold on to that. It may be valuable someday. English privateer is serious business. Uh, so is this. Guess I'll start walking back down, but I'm a little worried and a little shaky now that he'll steal that cargo right back, because I was a dumbass, and then move back home when I had the chance. I've actually moved into his attack range, and I have cargo. That's all levels of unfortuitous, folks. Well, SKS does it all the time, fuck up, so... What's wrong if I fuck up once every now and then? Perhaps he went to Jamestown. I tell you what, I'm actually going to go back to, back to Europe. I, go home and sell those yourself, buddy. I don't want to risk you getting damaged, potentially lost. Head on over to Montreal. It's a good plan. And I'll send somebody from that city to go learn in your stead. I choose you, Pikachu. No, perhaps not the guy who's producing hammers. I'll choose. The master tobacconist has been doing... He's hes not going to ever get a job. He's not, folks. Yeah, there might come a time when I fucking regret that. And I'm like, man, I wish I had that guy around to, uh, you know, grow tobacco. But I get enough of that from the Indians, folks. I, I don't think I need, you know, somebody to produce more of that. Let's see here, you... Go talk with the Incans. Make friends with them. Right, you need some badly needed tools, but I'm not coming all the way out here. I'm sorry if that offends you. Holy shit! Talk about Inca and silver. Hold on, everybody. Phone again. People are trying to interrupt the end of my recording, which is coming, I swear, everybody. Matter of fact, I'm going to end it right now. Thank you all for tuning in. Leave me your feedback, please. Edge McKay be some more about the game. Not that you all can, you know, you know, play it right now, because I'm the one who's playing it. But I would like to learn more about the game, and more about your strategies and opinions and thoughts, and why the hell you guys didn't tell me to move my cannon any sooner? And why the hell the English didn't actually have a meeting with me? Is that because of the RNG? Who knows? I'll see you next time.